What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Um, I hope you all had a good day. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, I am fucking on 10 right now. My attitude is on 10. I'm gonna t That's why I had to go and grab me another glass of wine because my shit is on 10 right now. Like, I am beyond pissed off. Beyond. I'm beyond pissed. Like, I got, you know, I, I have to deal with stupid ass neighbors. Dumb. The dumbest. And it just set me to fuck off tonight. Like, it just sent me into overdrive. Like, I am so tired of dealing with these fucking people. I, like, they swear they could park wherever they want. They could do whatever they want. And it's tiring. I had enough. So, I went off. I don't care. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> hope you all had a great day. Um, getting into this episode of GH. I enjoyed that scene between Sonny and Anna. I did. You know, them sitting there breaking bread, eating and stuff. I said, you know what? I ain't mad at Anna because I wouldn't turn down a free meal, especially Sonny cooked in. We all know, you know, Sonny know how to throw down in the kitchen with the Italian dishes. So I said, OK, um, I definitely would have took it. I respect the fact that Anna is so hardcore, like she's so badass, like she loves her privacy. She's not going to be a helpless victim. I respect it. I totally respect why she turned down Dante's help of protection, why she turned down Sonny's. I get it. You know, I wish sometimes that she would take it because you need somebody to watch your back. But I respect it. You know, she's showing people like I may be 60 plus years old, but I'm still a bad bitch. And I respect it. I can't be mad at that. Um, Jordan, I was I was a little taken aback by her by sitting there talking about some. Oh, you and Sonny became chummy lately. They've always had a mutual respect for each other. The only reason why they weren't chummy like that before because they were on opposite sides of the law. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they differed on that. But now that she no longer carries a badge, it's not a problem anymore. You know what I mean? But Anna definitely need to get ahead of this. Like, she needs to find out if these two things are connected. The shooting, the house burning down. Like, because, mind you, she said that burning her house down, whoever did it, it was sloppy work. But that's what she also said about the shooting. It, that was sloppy. So it got to be the same person. It can't be a professional. You know what I'm saying? It can't be. If both of them were sloppy, it's not a professional who did it. Um, Can't be that. But I just hope that she gets to the bottom of this shit quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because this is getting dangerous. Like, somebody's out here trying to send a message. Somebody trying to destroy her life. You know, and trying to do a bang up job of doing it too. So anyway, moving on from that, I don't think Cyrus is Pikeman. Cyrus is not Pikeman. Whoever Pikeman is, I don't think it's Cyrus. You know what I mean? I think Cyrus is just the boss of Austin and Mason and stuff like that from Paul Tuck. That's who I think that is. Um, I'm still pissed off because it was a total rewrite because whoever Mason and Austin's boss was, was supposed to be a woman. And I'm pissed that it's they turned it into Cyrus. I'm like... I felt like that was a little cheap, but it was it was it was a cheap reveal. But OK, I'll take it for now. I don't want to, but I guess I'll have no choice. Thank you. Um, Come to find out. Austin has known Cyrus Cyrus since he was a child. Cyrus used to come by the house, bring him gifts, even pay for his college tuition. I said Really, bitch? He used to pay for your college? And your mama used to get happy every time he came around? Like, are you sure that's not your daddy? Like, is he not your biological father or something? Is, like, is he an uncle? Like, was his mom, like, is that, like, a half-sibling or something of his mother's? Like, what's what's the tea? Like, how, y how your mama know him? That's what I want. I want some backstory on that. So, Austin, because, mind you, Ava done went to Sonny, and she don't know what to make of Austin. She don't know if Austin is manipulating her or if he's sincere. So come to find out, the reason Nicholas went missing is because Austin made that shit happen. Austin saved Nicholas's life. Why am I not surprised? I'm not really all that surprised by that. Because I already said I don't trust that bitch. I don't trust him. And now he's proven my point. I don't trust him, but he see, but he do seem like he genuinely wants out of the business. Like he wants Ava to know that he was the one that saved Nicholas. And Cyrus sitting there talking about, okay, you got my blessing. No, bitch, I don't trust you. I don't trust you, ho. I don't trust you, ho. Mm -mm. 
I don't think Cyrus is going to let him go that easy. He might be just giving him lip service, but I don't trust these hoes. Ava and Sonny, y'all need to unite, get y'all guns out, and start shooting bitches until y'all find out who the boss is. Because I've had enough. I've had enough. It's time to blow Port Charles the fuck down at this point. It's time to burn that bitch down until you find out who the boss is. Enough of this. Oh, let me follow you around. Oh, let me put decks on you. Fuck that. Get y'all guns out and start blowing that shit down. Put some smoke in that city. Fuck all that. Turn tables. Shake the fucking table if you got to. Shake the dining room table if you have to. Burn the bitch down. I've had enough. I've had enough. Burn it. Start hanging bitches on meat cleavers if you have to to get information. Do what the fuck you gotta do, Sonny. Come on now. Because Sonny, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, would have burnt that whole city down till he found out who it was. Now you run around, got weak ass decks following people. Speaking of weak ass decks, he over here at the prison. At the prison. Warning book to stay away from Drew. If you're going to come up in there and warn somebody about something, you might want to bring about four or five other men, which are, or at the very least, look intimidating. Because at least when Jason walked in the bitch, he owned the room when he walked in. When he walked in, the hairs on the back of bitch's neck stood up. The hairs on the back of dude's neck stood up. They got scared. Bitches got wet. <laughs> He walked by a female. They got wet when he walked in a room. Dudes got scared when he walked in a room. Dex, you might have one half of that. You might make bitches wet when you walk in a room, but you don't make no dudes scared. I'm sorry, but when you look at Dex, I don't feel intimidation. I don't feel, it's Dex. No, 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 no. I don't feel frightened when I see you walk in a room. I just do like this. Okay, what you want? That's what I, that's how I react when I see Dex. I'm like, okay, like, do something rattle me something straddle me <laughs> do something bitch like don't just stand there Sonny is warning you okay I mean you you name drop Sonny that might get me a little scared but you coming up in here like you Vin fucking Diesel Jr. or something ain't gonna scare me like put some muscle on you put some bass put some more bass in your voice give, give me an intimidating look and maybe maybe just maybe you might make me quiver in fear. But when Dex walks into a room, I'm like, who this puny bitch? Like, who are you? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, he don't pump no fear. I'm just like, sir, that's all you got is a look like Sonny's warning you. Okay. 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 Kudos. But at the end of the day, I mean, it ain't like Book care about Drew at all. Like, he's after Cyrus. He don't give a damn about no Drew. And furthermore, so what, what's the T on Book and Cyrus? Because if Cyrus really is a boss, and he's Mason's boss, and he's still calling shots from prison, why is Book still standing or Is this a part of some con or something? Because Cyrus being scared of Book, of all people, when you got Mason running around doing your dirty work, sounds like it's a con to me. Either Book is playing this game or, I mean, what, what, what's the tea here? Like, what's going on here? I mean, are y'all working together or are you playing some long game of trying to look helpless and weak and, you know what I'm saying, make people think you out the game to make it believable? Are you paying this dude to do this? Like, what are you doing? Like, I'm just saying. Carly was annoying me because she's sitting here, oh, I got Diane. I'm going to make sure you get out of here because this is not fair. Not fair. Y'all committed the crime. Why are you so hell bad? I feel like this is a poor look to basically say people could commit a crime and use their influence or whatever to try to get out from it. I feel like that's not a good message to send because I feel like that's what Carly is trying to do. Like you're trying to use your privilege to get this man out of something that he committed or you committed. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, no, let him do his little time and mosey the fuck along. You know what I'm saying? Like do your bid do that um moving on from that i was so impressed with marshall today i'm not even gonna lie to you i was impressed him standing up to selena the way he did i said go ahead you standing up to miss Wu? oh i said oh we got some backbone marshall i like that marshall the shit the fact that he stood up to sunny and i was like okay but you i mean miss Wu is a little different from sunny i mean sunny probably wouldn't do nothing to marshall on the strength of Curtis and, and Trina and all them, but Ms. Wu, 
she ain't got no, you know, emotional ties to these folk. So she could slit your wrist, you know, slit your throat just for talking back. <laughs> I mean, look what she did to Cody. Had him, you know, had his ass beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I respect it, though. Him, you know, standing tall and not taking no shit. I respect it. Um, but Ms. Wu is like, you know what? I'm going to get I'm going to get this club. She was like, one way or the other, either you cooperate or this shit going to fail. But I mean, even if Marshall knows nothing about running a club, it's like Curtis could still run the club from home, you know, remotely. He could just tell Marshall what to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, make sure this is this. And he can still run it. He can still guide him and stuff like that, you know. But Ms. Wu ain't nothing to play with. So, Marshall, you might want to pump your brakes. But my whole thing is Ms. Wu talking about she going to get some dirt on him. I'm like, what dirt could you get on Marshall? But then again, Marshall was gone for 40 years. So who knows what he was doing during that time that she could uncover. You know, he could have a whole nother child out there that he ain't telling nobody about. You know what I'm saying? You never know. So I wouldn't put it past Ms. Wu because when she get determined, you never know what she might dig up on your ass. Even though I still think something went down between Stella and Marshall, I don't know. I got a nagging feeling that they that they did to do back in the day. Something keep telling me they smashed back in the day. I don't know what it is, but something keep gnawing at me about them. Um, but I did love seeing Stella and her element as a social worker and a patient advocate. I love seeing that shit. I said, "Go ahead, Stella." She was working it. I said, "I loved it." And even Felicia was impressed. Impressed enough to try to become a patient advocate. I said, "Go ahead, Felicia." I love that the veterans are getting their second act. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at Alexis. She stopped being a lawyer. Now she's running a magazine. She's running a paper. I love it. You know, now Felicia trying to be a patient advocate and stuff like that, you know, because she's been wanting to do something that's rewarding and something that's different than what she's been doing before. So I said, okay, I like it. You know what I mean? I, I could see her doing that. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. Um. I understand that, you know, Trina trying to give Spencer his space to be there for his little brother and stuff like that. I, I can respect it, but she need to keep eyes. She need to keep both her eyes on Esme because I'm like, no. And I don't blame her for, you know, asking Spencer. Like, so when Laura and Kevin come back, like, do you plan on moving out? You know what I mean? Like, it's a fair question because at the end of the day, once they come back, it's like, do you still intend on staying there with Esme? I don't blame her because I wouldn't want him around that witch. Especially when she over here plotting, you know, to take her man. I was like, uh-uh, nope, get him away from that heathen. Nope, uh-uh. We gonna get her away from that scallywag if it's the last thing we do. And Trina need to understand something. At the end of the day, I understand she don't know what to do when it comes to her mother and Curtis. But just being there is enough, you know, and I agree with Spencer on that. Just just be there for them, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to say nothing all the time. You don't, you know, try to, you ain't got to try to find words to ease their pain or whatever. Just be there. That's all. That's the best you could do. Just be there. That's it. Just be you and be there. That's it. That's the best you can do for them. You know what I mean? Don't try to beat yourself up. Like, oh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. No, nope, just be there. I am so ready for Trina and Spencer to hit the sheets. Like, it's been all summer long and they ain't did nothing sexy yet. Like, they ain't hit them sheets yet. Like, I'm ready for some romance between them. You know, I'm ready for them to, you know, do the do, the humpity dumpity dumpity dump 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 dump. I'm ready. Like, I cannot wait for them scenes. Them scenes is gonna be ooh. ooh. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. When I drink some wine, that shit really it, it does something to me. It bring out that. I'm just saying, bring out that freaky side of you. Like that wine just be fucking you up. <laughs> I'm just saying. And Ava, too. Ava need to calm her ass down when it come down to this Nicholas stuff and this Betty stuff. Like, just chill out, girl. Chill. Sonny got it handled. But like I said, her and Sonny just need to blow that town the fuck up at this point. It better be some smoke in the city to find out who this boss is. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't take Sonny all that long. You know what I mean? Like, it really shouldn't. And I seen that little look Carly and Dex gave each other when they seen Austin and stuff at Pen at uh, Pentonville. I seen that look. They was like, uh-huh, what this bitch doing here? You know, because Carly already don't trust his ass. So, I don't blame him. That is like they might start putting the pieces together. So, anyway, moving on from that. This heifer, Gladys. She disgusts me. It was so hard to see Sasha like that, rocking back and forth, thinking Brando was going to come help her. 
I say, yo, it is hard to see her like that. Gladys is going to get hers. And now this little punk ass doctor talking about he want $50,000. And not only do he want 50 grand, bitch, Miss Wu want her money too. Because Miss Wu's like, shit, the game's done. You know, she's stopping the games because of Marshall ass. He not letting the games continue at the club. So she got to shut the games down for a minute. And she need her money in full. And this bitch, Gladys, has been liquidating. Um, I was about to call her Sophia. I was about to call her by her name. <laughs> she been uh, liquidating old girl uh, stock portfolio. She been li uh, liquidating Sasha's stock portfolio. I was like, oh, hell no. You been selling off that girl's stock? Her, her, are you crazy? I am so glad somebody put a block on that stock so she couldn't liquidate no more. Like, Gladys is just burning through this girl assets. Like, she gonna be back broke. Like, damn. Gladys need to get got. I'm sorry, but she need to get got. That doctor need to get got. These bitches need to go. I'm just saying. Sonny, somebody need to tell Sonny what the hell going on. Something. Because they, they need to, they need their chains pulled. I'm just saying. It's time to get to shut these bitches down today but um anyway that's pretty much the whole episode um hit the comment section let me know what you all thought and i will see you all later have a great night peace